Chapter 2 The Boy Who Foretold Disaster Yes, we are going to meet Luke in this video. And we're going to need luck when we meet him because prequel Luke, as I said in the previous video, is kind of a downer. He's kind of moody and grumpy and he dresses like an old man. We're going to see him later on in this video. You guys can decide for yourselves what you think Prequel Luke is like. For now, let's solve... Puzzle number eight. Mirror Ballroom. There are 14 mirrors here. And a clue which says, Exit indicated by larger arrow. Alright, this is pretty simple. The laser pointer is pointing like this, and that's going to bounce off this mirror like that. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's going to go like this, bong, bong, dun, 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 Uh, I don't know, something like that. Anyway, we're going to have an arrow. Looks like it's pointing towards B. I think I've got this one. <sighs> Alright. Okay, this is what the arrow really looks like. Okay, we have another puzzle here. Puzzle number seven, mopping up. Okay, so you have mops which take two days to dry after they've been used, and the handle breaks just after three uses. So what is the smallest number of mops you need to clean every day for 30 days? Well, if you completely ignore the information about how long it takes to dry, we have 30 days, and each mop can only be used three times, so 30 divided by 3 equals 10. So I'm going to say the answer is 10. I'll handle this one, Professor. That puzzle was no problem. Alright, so hopefully there won't be any more puzzles before we meet our good friend Luke. And Luke's room is this one over here, at the far end of the hall. Maybe he's sleeping. Herschel Layton. I'm a friend of your father's. Could we talk for a moment? Certainly. But first, you'll have to solve my door puzzle. Aw oh, man, another puzzle. Your door puzzle? Ah, I see. Luke needs to test our metal with a puzzle. That's so cute, Professor. Let's do it. So we shall. Okay, so we have 15 seconds. You can't do anything to solve this puzzle. Alrighty. Taking a look at the stuff outside the door. And we have. 
have a picture. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay. Time to solve the puzzle. We have 15 seconds. And you can't do anything to solve this puzzle. Okay, okay. So, you can't do anything to solve this puzzle, so, in order to solve this puzzle, don't do anything. Just sit and wait for 15 seconds, and the puzzle is solved. Very, very simple. Well, pretty good puzzle for a seven-year-old. Now come on, Luke, let us in. together. This someone would know I could never ignore a friend in need. Are you really Professor Payton? Is this true, Luke? Mm. How could you do something like this? What were you thinking? Were you even thinking at all? Mm. Here now, don't you turn your back on me again. Clark, please. Forgive me. The boy has barely spoken to me in the last six months. He's been so withdrawn since the appearance of the Spectre, I don't know what else. Very soon, the world will end. <gasps> what? Okay, okay, okay. So, Clark is a horrible parent. He has bad parenting skills. Luke is wearing old man suspenders, and he's extremely moody, and he thinks it's the end of the world. Prophecies. Okay, so Luke must be the Oracle. just said it's the end of the world, we seriously want to finish this conversation. Tonight. The Spectre will appear tonight. Oh, hey, awesome!
Okay, well, that's very interesting. Luke can tell the future. And now Luke is going to sneak out of the house, even though his father told him to go to bed. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe Clark isn't a horrible parent. Maybe it's the case that Luke is just a horrible son. After all, Luke doesn't listen to his father. He forges letters from his father to Professor Layton. And he's sneaking out of the house without permission. Okay, let's talk to Clark. Okay, we have one more puzzle to solve, and then we will leave the house and go to the area which is the place where the specter is going to appear. Puzzle number nine, Certain Curtains. The butler says, don't forget curtain 13. Which curtain here is curtain 13? Okay, let's see, that's 13, that's one, three, aha! The answer is B. Some puzzles must be met directly. A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. A true gentleman always has good penmanship. 